Sunlight can be harnessed by photovoltaic panels to generate a fuel, hydrogen from water. Water and sunlight are both renewable sources and the end products, hydrogen and oxygen, can be used to react electrochemically in a fuel cell device. Photons from sunlight must be absorbed to produce excited electrons in a photovoltaic solar system. Light, that is pure energy, enters a photovoltaic cell and transmits enough energy to promote electrons so that they can move to the photovoltaic crystal's conduction band and induce an electric current. The crystal consists of silicon material, which is a semiconductor with specific properties. The photovoltaic cell consists of two types of materials, the M-type and the P-type, the M-type region has a high electron concentration, and the P-type material is the electron acceptor. By connecting the N-type side to the P-type side of the cell through an external circuit, negative charges flow out of the electrode on the N-type side and perform useful work. The electricity generated by the photovoltaic can be utilized for water electrolysis. All the basic theory and the reactions taking place at the electrons is the same for electrolyzers as for a fuel cell, except that the reactions go the other way. The electrodes will usually be made somehow differently from the pan fuel cell, as the idea is to expel the product gas as quickly as possible rather than to dry it in. On the negative electrode, protons are removed from the electrolyte, electrons are provided by an external electrical supply and hydrogen is formed via the reaction. At the positive electrode, water is oxidized electrons removed, and oxygen is made via the reaction. The hydrogen produced by a PEM electrolyzer is very pure. It is produced as needed and thus not hard to be stored and so is safer. Electricity is much easier and safer to supply than bottle hydrogen cylinders. Electrolyzers are also a good way of converting surplus electrical energy into chemical energy, and as such, they are used in places where there are plentiful hydroelectric schemes that carry on producing power at night. Some see a future where large numbers of photovoltaic panels and wind-driven generators will be connected to electrolyzers, and the hydrogen produced will be the major way in which energy is stored and transmitted.